We're back for another walk. This time we're in Folkestone. It's uh, around four o'clock, so I'm not sure many shops will be open. Probably not. So as I say, it's a Sunday afternoon, fairly quiet. Here in Folkestone. Yep, looks like a lot of the shops are closing up. People have done their shopping for today. An old pine mash shop. Have a walk again for this town centre. Some quite nice little shops here, it has to be said. Hello again, we're back for another walk. This time we're in Folkestone. Folkestone in Kent. And it's quite cold and windy at the moment. So uh, it looks like we're gonna get a little bit of rain. It's currently early March, Sunday afternoon. And we're just gonna have a little look around the town centre. It's uh, Around four o'clock, so I'm not sure many shops will be open. Probably not, but we'll have a look anyway. See what we can see. Well, there is a... There's a few shops open. So as I say, it's a Sunday afternoon, fairly quiet here in Folkestone with a lot of its maritime history. So we'll just take a wander. Yep, looks like a lot of the shops are closing up. People have done their shopping for today. And it is a Sunday. Thank <laughs> you. 
Someone's let the alarm off in that shop though. Right, glad we got past that. It was a bit noisy that was. So there's quite a mix of old and new shops here. Your standard shopping centre type of shops and also some quite independent shops. An old pine mash shop. I did some local tours of East London as well recently and uh, I didn't see any pine mash shops there on my travels. Um, there probably would have been a lot of them around the East End at one time, but I didn't see any. But there's one here in Folkestone. So... Right, we'll turn back. Have a walk again through this town centre.
with that alarm still going off. Some shops here, it has to be said. Interesting brick work on that one as well. Always like to zoom in on a bit of brickwork. We'll decorate that shop there at the top. Motor Emporium. Well, there's no shortage of places to eat. The beer shop, Folkestone. We sell beer, cider and wine. And that one there, the San Norpito, that is a Weatherspoons. I've actually been in there before. It is a converted, I think it's a church, but it's really nice inside. In fact, we might go and have a look. upstairs
you've got the church organ there at the front as well which is quite interesting yeah very nice pubs and the stained glass windows as well
uh, we're on Church Street here. Some really ancient buildings. We're going to have a look around the church. stained glass windows are all boarded up. Obviously you don't want them getting damaged, which you can understand. I didn't catch the name of that church. Maybe it's on the front. Got the name of the school, St. St. East. Oh, can't we? Can't read that from here. We're going to have a closer look. So Eans, St. Eanswith School. It's a bit tricky to pronounce that. St. Eanswith. Not sure if I pronounced that correct. It's got a stone in there, a date, 1901. I do like a commemorative stone. So I don't know if that church is St Eastwiths. There's a good possibility, I suppose. It doesn't actually say. That tree there as well. The bale. We'll have a look down Priory Garden, see what's down here. If we can see the sea from here. I can hear it, but I can't see it. Yeah, we can see it there. That motorbike decorated.
Looks like the tide is out. Some interesting trees as well. I like a tree. I couldn't tell you the names of them though. The weeping ash. Oh, there we go. Weeping ash. There we go, finally found a name. Pope Church of St. Mary and St. Ainsworth. Worship has been offered continuously on or near this site since 6.30 AD. So it was a nunnery by the sound of it. Yeah, it's quite a nice little town, Folkestone. I have been here before, a few years ago, but uh, never managed to film it. Took some photographs, but there's some great little eating places, pubs and stuff, which is what I'll probably do. Pop into one. So yeah, so we'll end of the little walk. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.